जननी शारदा देवी राम कृष्ण जगद्गु पाद पद्मे तयो श्वित्वा प्रणमामि मुहुर्मु We were on the path of devotion. We have reached a state wherein we are actually coming face to face with the Lord's divine presence. In Bhakti Rasamrita. of rupa goswami he beautifully explains various states that we pass through and the expression of divine love and the way in which god reveals and the devotee experiences the bhakti yoga has been as if torn into pieces and he is revealing one by one the various aspects of this bhakti yoga in one of his writings he says ye kurvanti sada bhaktya gunanu smaranam harehe prakshina karu shoghaste pravishanti hare padam ये कुर्वन्ति सदा भक्त्या ये कुर्वन्ति सदा दो कॉन्स्टेंटली सदा सदा इज सदा सततम नित्यम ऑल दीज आर स्मॉल डिफरेंस इन शेड सदा इज एसोसिएटेड विथ अवर डे टू डे लाइफ सदा नित्य इज एसोसिएटेड विथ लिटल हायर ट्रूथ्स of cosmic level shashvata is applied to the still beyond higher level of consciousness so as we unfold our consciousness we pass through the very sada you are passing through all the activities of life in and through all that you are bhaktiya ये कुर्वती सदा भक्तिया भक्ति इज वे यू आर ऑफरिंग युअर सेल्फ एंटायरली भक्ति भज टू आई एम गिविंग माय सेल्फ टू गॉड इज भक्ति आई एम शेयरिंग फॉर गॉड इज भक्ति गिविंग एंड टेकिंग गिविंग नॉट समथिंग मेटेरियल और स्मॉल पार्ट्स आई एम गिविंग एंटायरली माय सेल्फ apart from the all things i uh, disown all things before i give detachment dispassion towards the world bhagavat bhagavati anuraga jagati viraga in jagat i am viraga virakti dispassion towards the world and passionate attachment to god when we do hare he ye kurvanti sada bhaktya guna anusmarana guna anusmarana i am taking god's various great and good qualities guna anusmarana in and through that or holding on to that or transcending that guna i am anusmarana Uh, i am doing anusmarana of god it is what we are now considering the smarana stage of smarana anusmarana unbroken hare of the lord hari is one who constantly makes the universe move harati is to flow harati is to carry away one who carries away the all defects and dirts and imperfections in the soul is also called hari hari is 
one who makes the universe or samsara more by his mere presence, his existence itself is making the thing to more. So nature is working, all of us are alive, all things are going on because Hari is there behind. So this Hare, the all pervading consciousness which is making all things move and act, his smarana, anusmarana, gunanusmaranam harihi, prakshina, uh, it becomes totally kshina. Prakshina, kshina is to become kshaya, it is decaying as if, it is losing its all state. Prakshina, it is disappearing. Uh, when a thing shrinks down, uh, what does the what is in us that is obstructing my vision of God? What is that is standing in between me and God is my imperfections, impurities in me. What I have acquired, Papa Punya, both are the agho, the karmic load, the tendencies I have acquired, vasana, karma phala, these are. And the dirt, sattva rajatama, all these are obstructing me. These become kshina, prakshina, kalushaukhasti. This, what is obstructing my vision of God, it becomes prakshina. Slowly fades away into naught. Ra is there. Prakshina, specifically, it fades away loses its life, strength, everything and disappears. The disappearance is Prakshina, uh, totally disappears and he reaches the feet of the Lord. So, the, it is a beautiful expression that how the obstruction dissolves, dissolves just by my concentration. Mm. I am United with him, I am united with him through smarana, anusmarana. That's what we saw, the aspect of smarana. I am getting the vision of God. The next one we are going to enter is Pada Sevana. What does this Pada Sevana means? I am going to have to, I am, Pada Sevana means worshipping the feet or massaging the feet or um, serving the feet, feet of the Lord. What does this feet of the Lord mean? Is it the uh, God's, I am seeing the form of God and am I going to worship those lotus feet of the Lord? <coughs> Is that the meaning of Sevana? Mm. Or is there any higher understanding of this Pada Sevana. Pada has, of course, in Bhakti, pure Bhakti, we have a different understanding of feet. When I say, whenever anybody touches anybody's feet or bows down at the feet, it is expression, extreme humility. I am coming down to such a level of humility, I dissolve my ego, is one aspect I am going down. When I bow down to God, it has a slightly different meaning. It is my, I am keeping my life at His feet. It is called Pranarpana. a different state of my consciousness. I am, when God, the ultimate reality, the ultimate truth to which, which is beyond the time and space, beyond the universe, beyond everything, from where the universe is appearing, to it, when I bow down, I keep my head at the feet, I try to serve his feet, serving feet 
is offering of life in any aspect, in any meaning. You take a service, simple service, uh, serving feet the moment I am giving, I serve your feet, I serve you, is my giving services. I serve your feet when I say serving feet, it is life suffering. I cannot take it back. My life is given there to his service. When life is entirely given, it is called pranarpana. I have done the pranarpana. Pranarpana is giving only exclusively I have kept my life for his services. Then I say I am, I am at your feet. For, I am at your feet for your service. I am at your feet. I have no other choice to go back or hold on to anything else. This aspect of my total giving, uh, my life, pranarpana, I am alive. Prana is praniti. I am life existing in my bodily. I am alive. This life is offered. Pranarpana means offering one's own life, balidan life. Mm. I am giving myself, my life, then, then only the term. Pada Seva is used. Pada Seva. Uh, there is there is no other purpose for me to live as if I am living only for sake of God. Serving God. And this is what we see in the and then Pada is not limited by the form of the Lord alone. When we bring a little Jnana into this bhakti, we see it is giving a different meaning. When we go to the Vedic truths, hmm, Om Sahasra Shirasham Sahasra Shirsha Purushaha Sahasra Aksha Sahasra Pata Sahasra Pata Everywhere his feet is there. Everywhere his eyes are there. Sahasra Aksha Sahasra Pata Sahasar Shirsha, everywhere his head is there, Jnana, uh, Jnana Indriyas, Jnana is everywhere he is. He is, he is, he is making all the movements that are happening in the universe are his movements. He is moving in the various aspects. My mind is thinking that it is Lord's feet moving. He is the whole universe, all jivas, moving, transmigration, taking the whole samsara is on the move. The whole universe is in this expansion, contraction phases, shishti stiti praya is going on. All these movements, I move with my feet. The movement itself is called the feet of God. How do we view? That is, it is pervading. The sarvatra, the all-pervadingness of God is brought into picture. When we say, Pada Sivana, I serve, I view him, I see him. Now, I was seeing limited his existence in form. Now I see the form everywhere. He sarvatra, from ekatra, he is becoming Sarvatra to me. And here we see in the Vamanavatara, God asks for three feet land and with one he covers the whole Patala. He covers the Netherland, Go and the space beyond. All the three Lokas are covered by his feet. What does it mean, all the local? He see the Vamanina, Vamanavatara. The Bali sees him whole. He is, there is no place where he is not there. He is pervading everything. He is pervading everything. He is pervading everything. The three Lokas, the gross, subtle and causal, the entire universe he is pervaded by him. The Sarvatra. And this is the 
philosophical meaning if you bring a little understanding of the jnana into this bhakti state you will see that they from form he is going to all pervasiveness of god he is seeing sarvatra yoma pashyati sarvatra sarvat sarvancha mai pashyati tasya aham na pranashyami sajami na pranashyati in bhagavad gita shri krishna says the one who sees me everywhere seeing god in one place limited in form is one thing where i forget the world the world is not in my consciousness i am in the presence of god is one thing and god revealing himself in that form and expanding his existence to limitless existence the vishwarupa now this Pada Sevana is something like Vishwarupa that Arjuna sees. He is separating from the whole universe and looking at the whole universe. Mm. So we see the Sarvatra. Yoma Pashyati Sarvatra. You, whoever sees me everywhere. Who says, sees you everywhere? Uh, even in my mind or heart, I am not able to see him. in everything good bad right wrong the whole universe of various things various species of life hmm, the space and time the beyond uh, all the waking dreaming deep sleep the universe virat hiranyagarbha and ishvara everything pervading who is able to see who is anusmarana of the lord He is lost in the smell of Lord. He alone sees him. The first he sees him, he is formed in the smell. And when Pada Sevana comes, look here. You serve me now. You wanted to serve now. Look me here. I am everywhere. You serve anything, worship anything, offer yourself in anything. I am there. You, a beggar is there. You can see me in him. A rich king is there. You can see him, me in him. That is the Vibhuti Yoga of Krishna. Wherever you see me, ye kamshe na sthito jagatra. He, my whole universe is sustained by a small amsha of me. A small particle of my existence is sustaining the whole universe. Millions and millions of universes appear and disappear. So, Pada Sevana. when it comes it is all pervading you see the lord whom you have seen now in every object in every life in everything beyond in time and space is his manifestation the love that is flowing out of my heart is he is is he and i am not there yeah my ego my the projection which was seeing him has also when the gopis used to see krishna the gopis used to see him sarvatra whenever he see the person who is viewing krishna himself or herself has become krishna krishna maya jagat and he doesn't exclude one's own personality he sees himself being krishna like that the whole universe is filled with this is the one important aspect of god's manifestation that is the sarvatra pada doesn't limit to one form only is feet of course it also means when we come to the pure bhakti where i am seeing the lord lord's feet is the source of all beauty and perfection the the there there is supposed to be certain marks on the god's feet the krishna's they explain on the krishna's feet there were 19 signs all dev all the vishnu is supposed to have four important signs on his feet uh, padma ankusha vajra 
Um, these are the common things we see. Um, the lotus is a sign of beauty uh, and the expression of consciousness. Chaitanya has become the feet. The God has become his own feet. All moments that are happening in the universe are expression of consciousness. Similarly, Vajra, what controls everything. Vajra is what the unwanted things, the time is also represented by it, is destroying the destructive aspect of existence is represented by Vajra. And there is the Ankusha, Sanyama, control, everything. You see, all things happening in you, you see in this universe, whatever you see is under the perfect law. How the law is working, the rhythm is working in this universe. Every object, every cause and effect, cause and effect, whatever is happening in this universe, is there behind it is the cause and effect going on. It is in perfect rhythm all things are going on. And the glory, uh, the, mm, there is flag also on you know, the feet. The flag represents uh, the authority, power and the owning. I am the owner of this universe. It is the flag claims, Pataka, Pataka always claims my jurisdiction. The whole universe is, belongs to me. Mm. And this is one aspect we see that is the Lord's, the whole universe belongs to Lord. If you see him separate from him, mm. if you, it is he who has become, but if you happen to see independent of, it is his property, he is Aishwarya, he is Ishwara. He is the Lord of this universe. He is universe, still higher truth. When we come down, as we come down, we see it is His glory manifestation. It belongs to Him. He is controlling. He is governing. He is the changes undergoing. His love is constantly changing flux. Changing means one state is destroyed and other state is coming up. The Balya is going, Yavana is coming up. Day is going, night is coming up. Night is going, day. It is the one part is, one aspect is getting destroyed. Other aspect it is presenting. The same thing is presenting in another aspect. This change is something called Vajra. Vajra is what destroys. It is constant destruction and constant appearance. So, but everything is like a flash, light, lightning flash, the thunderbolt. Vajra is thunderbolt. So it is like lightning, it appears and disappears, everything. So this we see and everything is in total control. The perfect control, under control it is moving. So Sayyama, Ankusha, everywhere Ankusha. Uh, how the Last virtue, you put a seed in the earth, water it, it is bound to germinate. What a perfect law you see. Uh, that is Ankusha. It must happen. It must, everything is controlled. Everything is. The elephant, which controls the elephant. Mm. Small Ankusha is controlling the elephant. The whole universe is, is, it is at his feet. The whole thing is happening. Mm. And lotus. These are the four important signs on the feet of the Lord. In Krishna's feet, you see many more things in Bhagavata, the 19 signs being explained. So here you see that lotus. Lotus is represents the most beautiful in the Bengal tradition. The divine mother feet is called Rangapai. The uh, pink red 
feet of the Lord, pink, it is called the lotus of the uh, Lord's feet. It is always uh, Rangapa, Rangapa. It is worshipped in such a beautiful way, beautiful manner. And it is kept as the treasure of the devotee's heart. Mm. It is it is supposed to be there in the heart always. They keep it is the it uh, the ranga part or the feet of the Lord, even when gopis or gopas view it, mm, it is the treasure of their heart. Uh, if the feet is seen anywhere, it means Lord presence is totally seen by them. Now gopas and gopis when they used to move about here and there, they used to see the footprints on the uh, dust. Mm. And the dust, they immediately, Krishna's feet, they used to clearly identify different from all other feet. Mm. They are supposed to be most soft and tender. Mm. And those feet, wherever the print is there, the dust of the ground they used to press to their chest and head. Mm. How they loved that means the feet are always considered as expression of love. I express my love without losing the respect, the reverence. It is kept at the highest uh, uh, the peak of um, existence as if it is the highest thing, the supreme thing in the universe and to that I um, uh, with all humility with my I become so small that I cannot reach God I can reach only His feet yes, suppose I am a tiny small uh, being I saw here 15 years, 10 years, dogs so small. Um, they are called cup dogs. It is much small. I am in US now. I am seeing small dogs they can put in their pocket and move. And they are 10 years, 12 years old. Mm, small, puny. It, it cannot reach. Big dogs can reach my shoulders. But when I become so small, puny, I am zero. He is poor now, as if. Then I can reach only his feet. His feet is my treasure. His feet is everything for me. That expression, that understanding, he is supreme. But I give myself. He is the object of my treasure. He is treasure of my heart. He is my everything. Mama Sarvasva, to express this Sarvasva and to experience his Sarvatra. Uh, in one place he is seeing God pervading everything. On another place I become so small in love. Uh, I become so vast that I am able to see him everywhere. This is Padasevana. Padasevana is to see him sarvatra in everything, everywhere, and also to enshrine that feet that I can reach in my heart. These two aspects we find in understanding the Padasevana. Padasevana, how much limited way we usually conceive, and how vast is the experience you get as an experiential understanding, it is entirely different. I become so small, I become vast. I understand I, the bhakta is never deprived of jnana. Shuddha bhakti and shuddha jnana are same. God gives the jnana. Look here, I am everywhere. Uh, and to see him everywhere itself is Pada Sevana. To become small, that God is Purna, I am, I am also Purna, zero. <laughs> yeah.
is by the Sevana. By the Sevana, I enshrine his feet in. I become so small. I can reach only his feet. Mm. To myself becoming zero is also Purna. Seeing God, I believe, is also Purna. Mm. Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tat Sat Shri Ramakrishna Arpanamastur